Yo, 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 what is up, YouTubers? It is your boy, Madeline XYZ, bringing you another video. This over here is my setup. I'm just gonna go through with it, you, like, go through it with you guys real quick. Why am I stuttering on basic things like that? Like, jeez, man, you go back to school, you know those ones? <laughs> but anyways, yeah, as you guys can see, I'm just rocking over here. Let's start from the bottom. I mean, I got an EVGA next um 650 g power supply it's eight um yeah 650 watt gold rated 80 plus gold and it's fully modular rocking the regular black sleeve cables that come with it um, i'm gonna be grabbing a white sleeve cable kit for sure in the future make everything look all nice you know though it already does with a nice white interior oh this thing doesn't want to focus for me there we go um we also got a pny 120 gigabyte ssd which i store my games and my operating system on I'm thinking of grabbing another one, of course. I'm probably gonna get a 240 gig. I was gonna like think of getting another 120 and like raid zero. I'm just like, I was just gonna get a 240 and then just keep my OS and my games here. I mean, just keep my OS and my programs here, and then I put all my games on a 240 gigabyte one. So I know that those games take up a fair bit of space. Like I was downloading Evolve Stage 2 beta. That's already 19.4 gigs on its own. I'm like, shit. Spiral Knights doesn't take much space, but yeah. Um, in terms of graphics card, I got this beautiful. MSI GTX 780 Ti. It's the Twin Four Zero C edition. Like it is just disgusting. This is a custom backplate, guys. Like if you buy this, you will not have this on it. This was like an additional 50 euros, but I got hooked up because my one of my friends has links with those companies, you know. So I got that for a decent price. I mean, I don't know if you really see under it. Kinda can. Got them fans spinning. Mm. Look at that. Looks nice, don't it? <laughs> Um, and then in here for the heart of the build, this one is rocking an i5-4570K. This one is slightly overclocked, and this is cooled by a Silverstone um, TDO2E 240mm liquid cooler. And I have two Corsair SP120 fans on it with the white LEDs, so, I mean, I, I think it's a really nice aesthetic thing going on. I kind of have it like a blizzard theme. You got the snowflake, you got like the white up you know, I got the white fans with the white case. You know what I mean? Um, everything's really white, you know? Like I can just put on a little white LED fan on the front. I decided to switch it this way, and I left this one open just so, you know, you could take a peek on the inside. You know, got a little front up here. Nothing fancy about it. I just like how it glows, but it's just it's just basic, you know? I got my wireless adapter right over there. It's TP-Link TLWN722N. I find it actually pretty decent. Like this thing is, I can download like five megabytes per second plus on Steam. Um, the only time it ever drops is when my network itself is screwing up. It's not the actual adapter. Like I've only had to install the drivers like a one, two times, and it worked perfectly fine. So I recommend that. Another thing I recommend for you guys is this LED kit. It's just freaking bomb. Like I have the controller laying around here somewhere, but I'm not gonna fret about that. Um, but I mean, there's a whole bunch of different settings. You can set it to like smooth, fade, strobe. You can leave on a constant color, you can change the speed of what it changes colors at. Um, this is the deep cool RGB color, um, you know, LED strip. And it has like a whole bunch of different colors, like it goes from red, blue, green, like RGB. It has white and then it has like those magentas, light blues, turquoises. It has like those light oranges, you know, reddish, yellows, all those. Um, it's pretty neat, it's pretty neat. And I think it adds a nice aesthetic to my case. Reason being is because A, since it's a white interior, um, you know, it reflects the colors of everything, so it just looks nice and clean, you know, and then at the same time, I just, I just do a good job with my cable management, you know, like I make sure I keep everything down there all nice and, um, you know, tied up, I got that in a Velcro tie as well, over here, these guys are fastened right down to the cage, and they're coming right up into the PSU, like, I, you know, I don't, I don't joke around my cable management, I always make sure that it's all neat, but yeah, I also got the MSI Z97S, um, SLI Crate Edition, you know, it's just one of the most popular um, motherboards for the Z97 socket. Reason being is because it's not super expensive and it gets the job done. And it's white. For me, I'm like, yo, it's not expensive and it matches my theme. So why am I not getting it? You know? <laughs> so I just grabbed it. Um, and I also have like a Seagate Barracuda 1 terabyte hard drive in there and then another, I think it's like some sort of Samsung 8 gigabyte hard drive, which is just there for me to store those um, finished rendered videos. You know, when I'm ready to upload them, I can just upload them, but for there, they just stay there. You know, um, yeah, and then I also got 8 gigs up here of some Corsair Avenger 1600 MHz DDR3 RAM. Nothing crazy, of course, though it's like, um, I think I gave these guys an overclock as well. I gave them, like, a base overclock for my processor, which also affected the PCI lanes. 
and the memory a bit. So this is running just a bit over 1600 megahertz. I never, I never did it on an XMP. I just did it straight from the base clock overclock, and it's still running stable. Still running stable, quite stable. No issues with it. Um, but yeah, like I mean, this cooler has been keeping everything nice and cool even while I stream. I haven't had any overheating issues. Like, um, if anything, the GPU is the hottest part of my system, which is funny, because like I'm only running a 1080p monitor, you know. So it's like, what's well, really stressing it out that much? Um, but I mean, it, it just runs, it just runs toasty, you know what I mean? Like, it's not like the fans ever have to ramp up over 40%, it just runs at a constant, like, you know, warm temperature, which I just, I don't know. For a GPU, I'm fine with it, it's not like it's a CPU constantly running, like, relatively warm, you know? Um, but it's fine, at the end of the day, like, I got a great cooling system on it, I've noticed that, like, it keeps things nice and cool, I'm rendering, you know, when I'm streaming and stuff, there's never an issue like that, so, that's always good. Um, yeah, and then, I don't know what else I want to say about this besides the fact that the fan has a nice little, um, like, ripple effect on it as, like, the, um, the LED strip starts to, like, die down. The problem is with this is that the colors change too quickly, but it's, like, if it were to be, like, a constant, um, I would say, like, a constant lower level in terms of the brightness, then you would see the silhouette or like the little ripple effect in the fan a bit more. Like as you see the color die down, you'll start seeing the ripple effect more, which I like about it. It's just kind of cool. That's why I like leaving the case open. You know, it's like a nice open environment. Do I have the case cover over there? It's a side panel, obviously. Um, I also, if I want to put it back on, I could. But, ooh, it's right over there. Oh, damn, son. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, Sonora. I'm gonna put this up here. God damn, son. Got one big boy over there. Ooh! Dropping everything. I'm going dropping like it's hot. I just like dropped my headphones. These are the Koshin Each G2000 headphones. Um, they sound really good actually, you know, like their bass is actually there, it's nothing crazy, like it doesn't make your ears go when you like listening to dubstep, but I mean at the same time it's like, it has some bass, you know, like the bass that I need is there and it's still deep enough, like when you hear the Polaris explodes, like yeah, you could tell it's exploding, like it's nothing soft, so I like that, the mic quality is it's relatively decent, you know, like it's quite loud, I mean quite sensitive, like I could pick up my keyboard quite easily and you guys can hear it and you can also even hear the, the fan in the background if I turn the mic up all the way to the max, not like my fans are loud, it's just that's how sensitive my fan is, I mean sensitive this mic is on these headphones. Um, I grabbed them off of Amazon. They were really cheap. They're only like 20 bucks Canadian plus tax because they're on some lightning deal. If you like buy it within the first 15 minutes of putting it in your cart, you get like 10 bucks off or something like that. So I'm like, okay, I'll just grab them after I did like a, you know, a mic test review online because I didn't want to buy a pair of shitty headphones just because they were cheap, you know. But turns out that they're not shitty at all. Like these guys have a really nice, um, hold on, let me turn this light here. Now, uh, now it's useful. Alright, so like, as you guys can see, it has like a nice cushion up here, which does not like irritate you after long periods of wearing it. You know, it's a nice foam, um, and then like so are the ear, the ear muffs also have a nice little foam padding around them. You know, it's actually really nice and comfortable. And then they have the LED breathing effect, which is powered by USB, right up there. And as you guys can see, up there I got, I just got a few little, few little boxes. The most important ones, 4690K. My apologies. <laughs> 780 Ti um, and Z97 SSLI Crate Edition. I'm here saying 4570K. Oops. Okay. Um. You know, Silverstone TDO TV over there. Like, honestly, over there is just like a little bit messy. So I'm just focusing on this. But yeah, I, mean, I got the SSD up, so like everything just boots in really quick. Don't forget, I do that side panel engraving. So I have that sick XYZ on my case. Um, if I could just get a proper focus on it, bang, you guys probably recognize that because it was the same case I had for my first build. It's just that the contents in it were not this OP. Yeah. So, with that being said, I'm going to just turn that back off so, you know, everything can be focused again. I'm going to do it like that so it's a little bit better angled for one. Okay. And then I'm just gonna pop on in for a second.
So I could use Shadow Play or I could use Fraps, it doesn't really matter. I'll just simply use um, Fraps for the benchmarking, like in terms of what you want to see my frame rate. Um, so I'll just boot up Fraps and just leave it there because the FPS counter is always handy. Okay, and then readying the felines. Update fail, retrying in two seconds. Don't touch one of them network issues. Oh no, I just simply wasn't connected. That's funny. Okay. Well, yeah, then. So, I mean, I could boot up SK, I could boot up Evolve or something like that. Show you guys the frame rates I get. SK is not a hard game to boot up. And then Evolve is not, I mean, you guys have known the frame rates that I get in that, so. It's okay. I'll just, I'll just click Steam then. Oh, I already did, eh? <laughs> I'm not too worried about that. It's probably giving me some network issues at the moment. Look at this, guys. Discord is just here, like, readying the felines. Update failed. Retrying in 33 seconds. And then look at this. My network. Bang. As I tell you, my network likes to screw up sometimes. Everyone has those problems. You know those ones? It's like, boom. My network appears. Connect. Because my network adapter is working just fine. Like, it detects everything here. Just like, why does my network itself want to, like, screw up? It's weird. But okay, then. I mean, we'll see what happens. Like, I'm not here trying to, like, get, um, you know, wait, like, ten minutes for the shit to start working, bro. <laughs> like, that's honestly hilarious. It's definitely a network issue because I'm connected to my router. So I'd have to restart the router and shit. Like, do I even want to deal with that right now? Like, honestly, I'd have to go upstairs. Like, literally up 10 steps. It's not that much, but it's like, I'm not going to bother keep that in the video, you know, just to prove a point. Like, at the end of the day, I'm running a 780 Ti. You guys know what that graphics card is capable of doing. It outperforms the GTX 970 in modern games. And is really, really freaking monstrous and overkill for winding to do at 1080p. So it's like, boy, I am set. Like, ooh, let me just put that down on the ground. Leave that like an open case. Mmm. Look at all, look at all fly up in there, son. Look at that. That build, though. Oh, I forgot to show you guys something. I forgot to show you guys something, man. Something important. I don't, I'm not a slouch when it comes to building PCs, guys. What I mean by that is, hold up, son. Check out, check out this cable management, son. When you guys see this cable management in the back, you're going to be like, you did not build that, man. Like, you're not... You're not a Linus, bro. Like, you guys are. You guys are gonna be like, what? Like, did you did you honestly sit down for five hours and do that, bro? Like, you're just gonna be. You're just gonna be in shock. Like, and just just, just watch. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Okay, this is the front. Now look. Now look at the cable management here. Wow. What everything everything that can be tied down is tied down son tied Oh no I lied it's like a little guy just here just chilling Oh no that was the fan I added in the sec the new fan it's like what happened is that there was this this guy right over here he was loud AF bro When I say loud AF bro I mean louder than my cush fan like it was loud like as soon as you turn on the system it sounded like an airplane is so like not taking that out and putting in this guy um, but yeah, like everything else here is just, you know, nice tied down. Um, don't slouch on cable management, son. So, with that being said, I'm going to just rest this back here. I'm going to go upstairs and go deal with that. All i got to do is restart the router. Um, it's no biggie. Like, the whole point of this video is for you guys to see the system. I mean, you guys can do the math for yourself. A 780 Ti maxes out pretty much anything at 1080p without crazy anti-aliasing at least if you're talking about stuff like um, you know, like Witcher 3 you know, you can't mess out the Witcher 3 with hairworks and anti-aliasing like, I found that out I found that out <laughs> but I mean, besides like, besides that, everything else you can pretty much max out you know, like all I'm really limited by is the 3GB of the VRAM and I mean for 1080p that's still a, a nice buffer to have, you know, like 2GB is not gonna cut it 3 and 4GB is where you wanna be the 970 is just um, above in terms of memory, about like 0.5 megabyte. I mean, 0.5 gigs at 3.5 gigabytes. Um, but in the end of the day, like you know, like raw processing power, they're pretty much neck and neck with this, like edging it out like by 3% in most in most games. You know, so I mean, 
I got a good deal on this. Like I got this for a set for two fifty um Canadian, which is really really good. Cause when this came out, this was like eight hundred Canadian, nine hundred Canadian. You know, like, pfft, pfft, like bro, I was not even thinking about this card ever being in one of my systems. Like, you know what I mean? But yeah, guys. So thanks for watching. This again is my system over here. Seven eighty Ti, EVJ and XG eight fifty watt fully modular. 8 gigs, soon to be 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance, DDR3 RAM with a Silverstone TDO2, 240mm liquid cooler, keeping everything nice and frosty, it's chilling, it's illin with that villain looking snowflake, you know we got that Corsair SP120 twin pack, white LED edition with Cooler, Storm, Cooler Master Storm Striker case that I, you know, custom painted up, guys, and you haven't seen that. You're like, damn, son, that's one sleek mofo. Because it is. Look at that, boy. What you know about them stripes? Call me Zebra. That is one sexy looking case, fam. I do my own custom paint job, my own custom engraving. Like, that's what I say, guys. Own custom painting, own custom engraving, son. Even I'm going to do an ROG build once I upgrade, upgrade to Skylake. If I even decide to do so, if anything, I'll probably end up just grabbing a 4790K with a 8 hero. I mean, not 8 hero, 7 hero. Because I see people selling those right now, and they're going for like like 170. I'm like, damn, son, 170, 175 for a, for a 7 hero? Like, I might just snag that. Like, you know those ones? So, yeah, again, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I shall be uploading some more videos in the future. Better than XYZ. <laughs>